After a heavy defeat against Argentina, New Zealand, who was third in his own pool, faces a tense waiting in this year's FIFA Under-20 World Cup. Kiwi coach Darren Baisley chose to change his squad for fixtures, and Argentines host tournament brutally took advantage of it and took the Kiwi Out Park this morning with a 50 win in San Juan. South Americans, in looking half of New Zealand, an unmarked Ignacio Maestro Puchud back to house with a well-placed middle behind net after camp took place on board after just 14 minutes. Three minutes later, a stylish counter-attack, fired by Aluca Romero and finished by Gino Infantino in the lower right corner, has doubled. Romero took action again in 35th minute, but instead, young Lazio star took ball into depths of his half-field and pushed defence of New Zealand that puts pressure on his own half. With very little support, Romero took lead and sought a clear shot from outside the penalty area and threw it towards upper right corner. The dazzling finish has already sent an audience to enthusiasm, who is already doing a party, and ran to the corner of that field by opening his arms towards the corner of that field, and he was definitely leaning. The Kiwi goalkeeper Key Sims, who made rescue between Magic, was difficult for Key Sims, but ability and confidence of Argentine attack matched their definite accuracy and often could not reach place where ball went. Nevertheless, Argentina's second half, Arjan Raj's handboard and Alejo Velay's a late head kick for a penalty goal, adding only two goals, the efforts of the score schedule prevented further bubble. After Uzbekistan achieved second place by passing Guatemala a comfortable score of 20 at the beginning of this week, defeat left Kiwis with four points in Group A four points. Argentina came first in pool. Although he finished in third place, if New Zealand is one of first four people who finish group stage in place, he may continue qualifying stages of tournament. Adam Supic shares a moment with a fan after New Zealand's defeat in Argentina. Effectively, New Zealand has to have a better record than two, who finished the other five thirds to advance from six pools, and they already finished Slovakia B group with three points third, and they already put themselves in front of someone. However, other unlucky third in third, player will have to wait a little with last billiards to be played for next two days. Their first chance to advance will be when the C and D groups finish their qualifying rounds tomorrow morning Nigeria defeated Brazil, or a shocking defeat in the Dominican Republic of Italy's Group D will pass New Zealand. Without these results, attention will be converted to Group C, which will be enough to win or draw the first two matches in front of the winning Senegal. If a Senegal stuns emerge, attention translated into E and F groups on Monday, where he will not be able to draw in the Tunisia and Uruguay E group, or he defeated or DIA.